up YouTube? It's Fizz. What up, Snappers? <laughs> uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be writing soon. Soon to be writing a book called Life's a Ride. Sorry for all the loud noise. Um, yeah, check out my other channel. Well, check out my channel for other videos. <laughs> Again, sorry for the noise. Oh, well, I wanted to talk about in this video why I would never get a dog in my personal possession. Um, and there's multiple reasons for this. One would be <laughs> because I feel like that's slavery against the dog. <laughs> Especially, I know a lot of people that don't even We'll back that up real quick. A lot of people go to work. What's going on? A lot of people go to work and they just leave their dog at home for the most part. Some some give it to a dog care. And which that could be a plus. I did, never really had that thought in my head but most that's usually for like a vacation or a long term extent that they're leaving home I'm talking about for the majority of people who just leave their dog at home and go to work or doesn't even got to be a dog any animal it's pretty much slavery even though there's a lot of that going around but and this is all my personal opinion and from my experience and how I feel that's how I based off everything none of this is based on science <laughs> and in particularly you know your dog doesn't have a life when you're leaving it at home unless <laughs> it is miraculously having a bunch of fun that in the house which i'm not saying it could be but for the most part dogs love you know uh going outside any animal for this matter but i'm just gonna refrain to using dogs and yeah your animal loves to be outside no matter what animal it is <laughs> so you're like captivating it and then the dog usually just waits for you to get home and it's basically like your child because now it depends on you whether or not the dog really likes you and i'm not going to get into that aspect or interaction you are giving this dog life you're you're feeding it you're taking it out it can't go out unless it's with you <laughs> so it needs it's automatically going to respect you and <laughs> dominate that that whole perspective because like it's going to show you love no matter what <laughs> and because it depends on you to take it out <laughs> and to feed it and to give it water like it's it, it's slavery it's exactly what it is <laughs> and i i guarantee the dog would rather be free and out where it can live in the wild and it would love that life and it's just always upset and it's not doing nothing. It's waiting for you. And then you have shit to do too. It's not like this dog or animal becomes your child and all, is always waiting on you. And particularly what you have to do. Like even if you do come home from work or from wherever you're at, um, your dog, you know, you, you have shit to do. <laughs> And your dog's just waiting on command for you, waiting on command. And it really doesn't have much of a choice. <laughs> it can't really do too much else, especially if you leave it inside the house and you don't really have a yard or something. <laughs> Anyways, most people who I see animals anyway, whether regardless of how much they love them, which I'm not going to tap into that because it's really none of my business. 
they don't even they don't even t take the dog and give it a exercise or work it out anyway take it on walks <laughs> way not enough you know what I mean let alone I don't know how much they take care of themselves and how much exercise they give themselves I'm sure this dog wants to live a life <laughs> or any animal like I said also um It just doesn't feel right, especially when I put a dog or an animal on a leash and then walk it. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> you know, like, especially full grown dogs. <laughs> like, they're grown dogs. <laughs> they're grown animals. Retrospectively, they can pretty much take care of themselves. <laughs> on top of that, you're neutering, most people are neutering, you're fucking, I don't care who says what, okay? <laughs> you're neutering the dog. You're taking out the vagina and the dick and balls or whatever you take out of the fucking dog. And how would you feel if you fucking lost your vagina and balls? That's your fucking key to life. And that's traumatizing for the rest of your life. So imagine that. I don't care what anybody has to say, about fucking take unless it was absolutely necessary for some reason which hypothetically would be impossible <laughs> that's bullshit that's fucked up that you do that anybody fucking does that that's fucked up more so over what else is fucked up is you feed your dog freaking canned fucking food <laughs> dried food your dog doesn't want dry food your dog wants fucking living animals your dog is a living freaking animal. It eats living animals like every other freaking animal does. They all eat live fucking animals. Jesus, that's so fucked up. It really is. <laughs> More so over people don't, like I said, take the dog out and give it the freedom that it needs. And then the dog just depends on them like a child. A full grown dog depends on you like a child. It's fine for the dog to act like a child or anybody to act like a child, but it's different when you depend on someone. That's a little bizarre, okay? It's so messed up. This is why I would never freaking get an animal and then you're putting on leash. I just feel like this is slavery. And then I feel bad that you know, that the dog is just upset, depressed, and miserable, and can't be free and do what it wants when it's at its house. If you'd like me to talk about any topic, let me know. I take a video request or anything more, let me know. This is Fizz. What up, Snappers? I'm going to be tuning out. Check out some of my other videos on myths, conspiracies, health, and fitness. Links in the description below to find out more. Contact me. Like I said, I take video requests. And um, comment below and tell me your tall tale and let me know how you feel about the situation. Because what's going on? Life's based on experience and feeling. And that's what I base everything off of. So stay tuned. And I thank you for welcoming them and love to everybody in peace and for tuning in. I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. If you're going to let your dog run loose. <laughs> Give me a thumbs down. If you disagree with me. And you're going to hell. <laughs> Alright snappers. I'll see ya.